add, we're going to have like a super one going on right now. Okay. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, the first person to pass a year as Eve International Champion, uh, it's Casey. Yay! <laughs> and to keep me waiting. <laughs> I right. sent you a message. You still came on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, the only reason I'm here early is because I just was watching and happened to be sitting in the room. And Dan was like, "You do? Do you want to just come in now?" And I'm like, "Okay, I'm not yeah. doing that. Why not? Is it, when are you? Go, when are you going? Do you want to tell me when you're going? Is this your last gig? Are you going to stay with us rest of the night? How hardcore are you, Jada Dark? This, I know why you think. After well, my bit was supposed to be at ten. So Rock. after my bit. When it's actually my bit, we'll do your bit now. We'll do your bit now. Because I have because have a five a.m. for work. Yeah, good point. <laughs> so we'll, this we'll is, need sleep this, anyway. I know. Right. This is shift seven out of seven as well, <laughs> and then after that, I'm sleeping for a week. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, right. Uh, so we'll do your bit now. Um, mm -hmm. Also, bringing on. She's also been uh, waiting for us because uh, she she's she runs on time, unlike ourselves. It's British wrestling, of course. Um, let's uh, let's bring on Darcy Stone. Yay! <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, Dan. You're right. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Do you know, I'm feeling a little bit emotional because I was just watching that um, Charlie Morgan Sammy Jane match, and I forgot like how long ago it was, and it just brought back all the feels of that entire day. Mm -hmm. That's such a good day. So good. Yeah, it, it was. I miss. I'm. Oh, no, I can't go through that again. <laughs> so, um, right. Let's. Uh, I'm just queuing up our our, our next no, match. Go to a moment. Before, yeah, before let's I do have that, party. Let's go. Awesome. Well, the party's going to keep going because, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the street. Bye, Casey. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Casey's rage quit. Rage, all that Casey's time, rage done. quit. That's what she's stealing happened. your gimmick, Darcy. I don't know what's happened. My my, my screen is like totally frozen. Oh, you had, oh well, we can see. Yeah, you look good to us. Uh, Jayla's oh. messing with us now. No, I was just playing. I wanted to see if you just maybe accidentally hit the stop camera button. Oh, Everything no, everyone, you're not in the same house. How are you going to know if that's what she's done? I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. <laughs> So from, so from the uh, Motley Crew Eve International uh, Champion, we go to the Firestarter. It's Kanji! I miss you so much. Yeah. I miss you too. Because we've I actually gone longer without you seeing you because you. we got hurt. <laughs> I did. I broke myself. You broke yourself in a match with Emmy Sakura, no less. I did. <laughs> I mean, of all the people you're going to do it with, it's probably a good choice, but, you know, it's still not ideal. I know. Better to do it with a legend than no exactly. one, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, ex Kanji exactly. one of the girls that I shared a hotel room in my last weekend, and I wouldn't let her sleep. <laughs> because I couldn't sleep, so I was like, everyone must suffer with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't you know? But if it was an Easter, I'm presuming you had like a 7 a.m. flight, meaning you had to leave at like oh, five it was, or six. It was the so I'd done my match with Rhea and then I had my match with and Suka the next day. So yeah. it was a hotel oh, stay. Oh, it was in between. Oh. Yeah. So I didn't okay. have a no, no, no. That was um, Roxy, was my very last hotel share. Oh, and it, there you and go. it was lovely and calm, and we both fell asleep because we were like, I'm so fucking tired. Yeah, I mean, tea. Drink it. So much tea was had. So much. <laughs> it was the best. No, Roxy brings her own tea bags. She does. I she love that. She her own tea bags. <laughs> I think that's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I'm going to bring a uh, uh, final person. I don't know if she's she's ready. She's chatting to someone. Oh, she just nodded at me. I think she is. Hey, she's smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, bring it up for Bo Bells is in the house as well. Yay! It's a, it's a, now, it's, now it's a party. Now it's a party. Yeah, it is. Do you know what I have? What do you have? <laughs> no, it, now it's a party. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. I can't believe what it was no. because the screen's froze. <laughs> you can't see. What? I'm going to leave and come back because if my screen's froze, it's like totally Okay, blank. I'll bring you straight back on as soon as, as soon as you're back, all right? I'm such um, a evil man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I will there we go. So uh, let's get to the match so that uh, young Jayla can go to sleep and save people from dying tomorrow. 
Okay. Aww, I feel like I that's know. a lot of pressure to put on that sleep, that one sleep. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, now it is. It's, it's, really just, it's just every day. It's okay. just every day. <laughs> the following contest is... I also miss, I miss M as well. I miss that mobile. It, is it doesn't exist anymore, neither. She doesn't have to mobile now. No. Wait, what? Yeah. Doesn't have to she actually, actually well, yeah. well, it has been taken. What? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I've got to, I've got to mute this because yeah. Scooter uh -oh. is is not Scooter copyright free. Yeah, we're, we're so, just doing okay, our own I, one. Um, I don't remember how it goes. Is this the Scooter? Just, Are you ready? Is it is it ready? Okay. What if I play it down my phone? Are you allowed that? No, we'll still get caught. <laughs> You know what, right? When I did the Wrestle Queendom stream, there was literally less than a fraction of a second, less than a fraction of a second of Aja Kong's theme played distantly in the background that you could barely hear, and we still got freaking caught for it. You know, it it was so, this. so... Uh, like, oh, like, look at you. The day before, like the next day, which was my last match, I was, I spent the entire day petrified. I was really, really, really <laughs> nervous. So I could, I felt like I couldn't enjoy the day until the match was done. But because it was Rhea and we've known each other for fucking donkey's years and it was just, I knew we were just going to have a really good time. Yeah. Because obviously, yeah. I trusted, you know, I trusted Rhea to do her part. She trusted me to do my part. And we were, we knew exactly what this was. Mm. You know. Oh, oh that was Lauren. That was Lauren you... complimenting my T-shirt, and I was like, "Thank you, that's so nice." The green-eyed monster. The green-eyed monster. I this is the first time idea. I've watched a, a match at Resgal for like oh. ages, and it's got me. I'm like really emotional, just like. Oh yeah, my music was still going down. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, I better check. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to Ivan Torres who's donated twenty dollars. Um, big thank you to everyone. Remember, that's what we're here doing. Like, as as fun as this is, we are here for uh, a very real cause, uh, and that cause is is we're money we're raising money for uh, Rain. Um, you've heard Ria go on about the importance of. Uh, of, of that incredible charity, not just Rhea, you'll have heard people like Mick Foley, of course, I feel that really brought uh, a lot of attention oh, to her. Uh, and so, you know, if you can share this stream, share it around to your friends, tell everyone about it, um, uh, get them in, get them joining us, and uh, and taking part in this worthwhile donation, this incredibly worthy donation. I love that we were both in mutual agreement that because we were doing hardcore, we were going to wear t-shirts and not mess with the gear. <laughs> that was always my thing is I was like, no, this is a really good top and I really like it, so we're just going to put a t-shirt on. Yeah, it, it, exactly. That's one of the things, like, people will, that's a great point. If you're going to do those kind of matches, it's going to end up costing you so much money in lost years, so you've got to adapt and change it up. It's like, it was so funny coming down from this match too as well. It's like, you know, badass game. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't wait to have this match, but it also don't want to have this match. I know. I know. Like, not going to wrestle again. It was like, oh. Hey, grudge. But then I was like, who cares? This is what I feel about. Yeah, and it was just, like, we've spoken before in this game as well. Like, Red Bell was such a special place. And the atmosphere was just awesome as well. And it was like, it was perfect. I think it was perfect. I really uh, do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was what was going through like your mind knowing that this was it? This was your last weekend. Um, don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> was it also Dan? Better not fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't fuck it up. I hope logistics don't fuck it up. Christ, I hope I don't get injured. I hope I don't injure someone else. And then just oh, oh it's the last weekend. It's so easy to boo, Rhea. <laughs> <laughs> you just you when yeah. you're when you're in that mood and you just have the face, it's just like boo. Seriously, I find it really, really hard to boo, Rhea. I find it easy. Yeah, yeah it's really. pretty easy. No, I I always like secretly cheering for her, like boo. I mean, yay! I don't even mean the ring. I just mean like, I just mean the feeling. <laughs> I'll just walk past Rhea on the street and be like boo. <laughs> Next time she comes up to Glasgow. Oh my God, and they 
Actually, I love we had the immediately we were like, so we just gonna run at each other and fucking and we were like, yeah, let's do it. Do it. That's we were just like, we wanted it to be fun, and just messy, and brutal, and nasty, and just fucking... Yes! I <laughs> <laughs> love it! <laughs> 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 it was kind of wrestling with the watch, and so it was just so yeah. like, fun to do it to me. You know what's funny is I'm in this match, and I'm sitting there going, yeah, get into it! Yeah. <laughs> That's me! Bring that mother's memory. I said, Kanji, do you remember the first time that you met Rhea and Jayla? Because you're, you know, you're a, you're a baby in the wrestling industry. You know, yeah. So. I think the first time I met Rhea, um, I think it was, you were doing the BBC or BBC thing in the ring. And I just remember her talking into the camera and I was like, like you, you sound so intelligent, and because I've only seen you like wrestling in the ring and, and stuff like that, yeah, you look it just shocked me to hear you speak. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like that, I was like, wow, this girl knows her stuff. Yeah. Oh no! I'm like, gonna have to surgically remove the smile off Rhea's face after that, Kanji. Yeah, I like, can tell it really <laughs> Oh, it's my dad. Wearing merch for once. Is he? Oh, is he wearing your merch? Is he? He's actually wearing my merch for once. Oh. Uh, is, what I, is this one the thing tell? He must really not like Jayla to wear your merch. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he could have bought a T-shirt. Yeah. Like, oh. As soon as she made her return, it seemed that she didn't. Have I don't know about you, Ria, but I forgot when I took the back post into that wall. I forgot there was a frame there, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this will be fine." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that I'm being like bodyguard. Please do not get involved in the match. Yeah. Match as well. Oh, oh that, that, oh, that also is alarming. Like, because um, that that bar, it looks like it will fall down at any moment, but it's actually solid as hell. It is really yeah. solid. The crowd themselves seem gripped. I love Brian's just standing there, like, do I move the bottle? Do I mean what? Well, well, look at Brian. Look, Brian knows his role. He's got a role. Bless him. He's well happy. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> <laughs> someone just gone really Dalek. Uh, in, yeah, Rhea went all Dalek on the Yeah, Rhea, you just went like it. a Dalek. Like proper Dalek. <laughs> She's gone full hill, everyone. Yeah, I was <laughs> waiting for you to say, Am I a good Dalek or something? Like. Oh. See for Volker's Rhea, oh, Rhea, you are a good darling. I'm a good darling. Yeah. Yeah. See for talking about the bottle and oh, it's a works bottle. I have a real Jameson bottle and this sucks. See the back? Where would we back, get a works bottle it was from? So painful. It nipped like fuck. Yeah, they are. They're not. <laughs> That's the thing. Where, where would we get a work oh, bottle from? Yeah, that was a good bottle. It's in a car. And I was going for like. I don't think you can pick those up and, you know, the woods or whatnot. Oh, I forgot quite how much we just battered each other. We really did. Like, I'm listening going, what did we plan here? I don't think we planned a single thing. We didn't much. We just went for it. You mentioned you were like, I'll take you to the bar, I'll hit you with a bottle. And I was like, sweet, let's do that. It's funny what you come up with when it when you're in with somebody that you care about. Exactly. I care about you that much. I'm gonna blood you. You want to make friends harder. Yeah, I remember Mick Foley saying like that when you're in there with your friends, you know, the more the more you beat each other up, and you know, because you've got that trust with one another that you'll just kind of forgive one another because you're mates. Or you're your princess for right in the eyeball. There you go. There's very few people that I would let come at me with a stapler. <laughs> that way. Kanji, who would you let come at you with a stapler? Oh! Right in the baby box. I love the comment here. Can you the opening spot in our first match together, yeah? Ow! Yeah, you sick bastard. You sick fuck. Ow! Uh, <laughs> oh, 
Dr. Lauren's like picking the staples out for me, like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. It's like, <laughs> like, this is totally normal. They stop going in, but pulling them out is like, you're the nice part. Yeah. It's the same with some, like, some tax mountains that you call them. Man in the mid sucks. Then you have to pull them out. Pulling them out is worse. Yeah, I think it's moved from behind the back of your arms, or like the twiddly bit. Oh. <laughs> Had to have a word with you there, Dan. Are you trying to get in my way? Yeah, yeah Dan. Look at you. I'm, I'm trying to protect the, the, the normal people from from the absolute, you know, raging psychopaths. And, and, and look, Bo Bells and Clementine is there with me. I know, there's Clementine. Yeah, we're like, yeah, we'll get involved. God, we did, yeah, that's right, we did kind of go, oh, let's have a mountain of chairs, that we will be a laugh. Do you know what, for a... I just remembered what's going to happen with those chairs. Yes, this is, like, going to be so good. If you haven't seen it before, you have not seen it. For a standing room only venue, we don't have to have a lot of chairs at Eve. <laughs> it can't be useful. I love this. I was Kenji, always a fan of this wee thing. Kenji, were you watching this match? You was on this show, weren't you? This was you and... Was, wasn't this you and you versus Ginny on this same show? I don't know. Yeah, you were on this show, because the next day you worked a three-way. So you were definitely on this show. Yeah, I was on this show, I remember. Yeah. I just had a nice little moment right there. Not nice for my face, but for everything else. You know, the thing is, I barely threw chops, so I'm not sure why I decided to be like, tip slap. <laughs> it's because they were there. You had to. Going for another swing. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my! Uh, you guys, are easy to swing a chair. They're heavy. They are. They're real chairs. Here comes the moment. This is there aren't enough chairs. Like I love this. That's so funny. Sorry, just tell me. For everyone who doesn't know, I found a police helmet um, <laughs> in the red gal. In the red gal, and thought, okay. <laughs> I hope he's everything, that everything, people going about, <laughs> oh, and there just so happens to be a board of wood there. There just so happened to be a police out. And it's just like, that's the res, gal. That's yeah. 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 For a small <laughs> venue. <laughs> there is <laughs> this mask upstairs <laughs> in the changing rooms on the wall. Like the, right, the thing was, the police helmet slipped uh -huh. down, so I couldn't actually see what I was doing. I was just throwing chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just saw so you just happy. moved it back up. Did you feel the hit at all with that helmet on? Oh yeah, it was yeah. Oh, that, that's for good measure. Oh, <laughs> through the helmet. So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh god, please move the chairs out of the way. I'm gonna fall over them. <laughs> oh. oh. Ah. That big meaty thigh, right to your face. Dragging you. Must be out. This was such a good match. I'm so pumped just from watching it. It was so much fun. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I was that. Oh, oh, this is gonna. Oh. I did suck, actually. I was, you know why? Because I was so busy trying to protect my back, that I moved my elbows backwards and I was like, oh, oh, oh. 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 good idea. Oh, so just that the chair just went straight into your elbows? Both my elbows. Oh. That's how you get bone chips. You don't want that. I know, but like, this is what always happens with hardcore matches, and other people who have done it in this chat are totally oh, there's, there's, um, you protect there's Leah one James. part of your body so you mess up oh, look, at Leah. Look, look at baby Aaliyah James. James in the crowd oh, there as baby well. Leah James. Oh, I just heard Nina Samuels just goes, that <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> Refer it to the board. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rhea, I love this wee sequence that we came up with here. It was so much fun. I love that this perception of the chairs stream has just become me and Gail and Mark and I for ourselves. We're just like, we're so cool. It was because, you know what it was? It's because it was so much fun. It, it was. was just so much fun. Oh, and she goes race to drive up. I oh. always forever love, like, who's going through the table? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Oh, what's Gina going for now? Rear blocks. That was quite fast. I wasn't known for speed. 
And we did just find like boards and pieces of wood and everything just around the Red Scale. Like, the Red Scale is a, a treasure trove. It's yeah. a magical place. And don't worry, everybody. It was my, it was my cat behind that broke that table. Guys, <laughs> I'm just going to bring someone on. We've got a, 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 a son of special guest to the stream. <gasps> hey, Faye Jackson. <gasps> Hey, you're, you're watching Rhea beat someone up on their penultimate last night in the in their wrestling career. You were at this show actually, you were you was here in attendance. Can you hear us, Faye? Yay! Oh, look at oh, you with the evil thoughts. You, evil you've thoughts. you've actually come on the stream, Faye, and thank you so much for joining us. Just as um, on the show that you was actually at, you was in attendance, then you wrestled the next night against Rhea. Uh, yeah, oh, yes, I remember the barbed wire match. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> There's no explosions. I just want to point that out. Here. It's just <laughs> good old-fashioned skin <laughs> ripping. I mean, if you did, I know what it would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> and the venue would have disappeared with it yep <laughs> yep i just thought that i don't know if you can see it's so funny like when you're watching this because you're literally seeing the people that are like front row like just start to realize that's real barbed wire and their mouths are just starting to open more and more and more no, but i love the idea because Rhea was like Rhea had said to me she was like you know you see a barbed wire match and it's already on the ring so what if we had barbed wire and we added it in the middle of the match and i was like well you can do that <laughs> you know what? it was such a fast and i felt like it once you're back and it wasn't taking long, it felt like I was doing it, it felt like forever. When I, was, when I was lying there, it felt like forever. And I was like, oh my God, somebody kick me. Come and kick me. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like two seconds in the ring doing nothing feels like two minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so, Faye, this was your first time at the venue. And this is oh. you seeing your mate suddenly get thrown into barbed wire. Yeah, good time. Wait, something insane about to happen. Something mental. What, what the oh, fuck? When do I be a yikes from me. No, thank you. Yeah, that's just so. And you can actually see, for anyone that wonders, you can see the barbs so in that just sticking out and how long they are. I've got, I've got a nice little scar on my arm from that barbed wire. Yeah. It's a carrot. My memory of it. just grabbed you like, here, come here, you. Yeah. You stopped. I know, it I heard a question. I'm sorry. I'm at work. No, no, so. sorry. I didn't realize you was on the phone there. My apologies. And we really appreciate you taking, like, time out because you're, you're at work, bless you. You're at work right now, I think? Yes, yes I, I am. She's living, she's living that shoot life right now. Like, yeah. like but, Everybody like, you just want everything. <laughs> oh, this, this oh. was your first time at the Resistance Gallery and, 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 and which is a unit, and we said if 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 only we could have, because you would go down so well at even this venue, like yes. It's the next day we did it. It was a family show, and it's just like, but my god, un like unrestricted Faye Jackson at the Resgal yeah. is something I need to. Uh, some, that keeps me alive. We need it. We need it. it we do. It should, it should happen soon. I hope you know. I hope it's still real, but hopefully one day fingers fingers you. crossed mate and yeah, you got to see your mate get thrown into barbed wire there must have been a part of you that really enjoyed that i totally forgot you were gonna hit me with that dvt coming off my shoulders and i was like oh fuck. <laughs> yeah you threw yourself into that when you see when you realize yeah. like and it's, and then just that barbed wire just like hanging around there and like i say it's just <laughs> and you see like the audience being like oh god that's real no every now and then you see people like just kind of like go to touch and then touch like they, they, they did regret it they just be like no no i'm not gonna do that yeah. i was at the front there and it was i remember there was a girl next to me and she was like is that real and i was like when you see it, it's real <laughs> yeah. those tables are so big like well done you jayla for being able to lift that up it was a I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Oh, thank you so oh, much, Faye. We'll see you, Faye. Oh, 
Yes, yeah. everyone goes to Lofay Jackson on Twitter. I, like the grey sweatpants battle royal is a thing. It's happening. We all need to see it. I need to. I need to see it. There you go. Fight TV, guys. Okay, get on there. Get following Faye Jackson. Bye, bye, bye Faye. Bye. Now, this Faye, is Faye shows also, um, and she's also raising, she's raising funds for Planned Parenthood with that show as well. So, oh wow, yeah. such a star. Love Faye. But before oh, we have kind of her to come and join us as well. She's lying out carefully. Tables. Tables. Well, I tell you what, that table, like Dan was saying, it not only is the table actually quite long, but it's surprisingly heavy. And I yeah. only realized that when I went to pick it up and I was like, oh, fuck. Right. I've got to get it in the ring, though. What I've just oh. noticed as well about that table is sometimes on other shows they like cut them. Oh, but this is it, you isn't cannot it? Not see a cut there. That is a cool this solid is it. table. This is the last moments of Jada Dark in the Res Girl. I'm just going to turn the audio up on this because it's just. It's emotional. Aww. It's violent, it's emotional. And for some reason, I'm on the second rope. Like, <laughs> yeah, you love that top rope. You love that violence. Oh, and here we go. Here's your line. Here's, here's your line. Hashtag. Saw the position that they were both no. in. Oh, wow. She sacrificed Matt herself. Going in there with I, am, I am whispering nothing to Jayla. <laughs> <laughs> Jayla, 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 I love you. I'm so proud of you. That was amazing. I had so much fun. I love you so much. And I'm just sitting there going, first of all, ow. Because I just pulled Rhea completely on top. We were supposed to go through sideways together, and I just went, "Okay, you're on top of me, so why not?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was all my fault. And I'm just lying here, like, "Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry," and, it just didn't work. and you'll see that it didn't work. And it keeps playing. Like, you have every right to cry. Oh, I was, yeah, because it was like, like I said before. Obviously, my last match was the next night, and that was like the big deal match. But I just kind of felt like. It is now just is a special venue and you under it and I was just like I'm never gonna wrestle I'll I'll miss it but I'm never gonna wrestle here again. That that's it, that's the And it was just it was then that so that that was me done and I was like uh, big sad face and then someone offered me cider and I was like fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> And it was just yeah also, I was gassed, so I was just going to lie there a little bit longer. <laughs> I was just like, oh god. But that was that was just like this moment, and it like, you know, yeah. like, when you went, like it really hit me as I was like, we'll come yeah. out of the ring, and I was like, oh shit, like we're never doing this again. Yeah. Cool. It was, there was no, like, some people were like, oh, so, you know, were you guys in, I was like, no, there was no character at this point. I was like, no, we were done. Like, that was us. This was just two friends sitting beside yeah. each other going, like, what a wild ride we've been on. And the yeah. thing is, you two had actually been engaged Aww. in a feud throughout your entire Eve careers. You were in a, in a feud when you were part of a tag team back in 2012. Oh, and you just literally were constantly feuding uh, throughout. So it was, it was, yeah. the, it's amazing how, like, that, you know, that, that element of fiction, which was complete accidental, you know, resulted in, you know, you two becoming such good mates and ended up where we did in, in that position with the pair of you. Literally going from, you know, practically opening match to main event, you know, in your careers. It was incredible. You could really feel the emotion at that point. I just remember standing there watching you two have that drink together and I was like so emotional of it. You could just feel it coming off you guys. It was so good. It was like after that brutal match as well. It was really, really lovely. I just, oh, want, to, I I just <laughs> want to take a moment to say thank you to Dale Brody, who was the person that rigged up that table with the explosions to make sure that we didn't have... <laughs> it, it was, I, 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 I remember saying to him on the day, we need elite level explosions here. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I, and I feel that Dale did, and funny that just as I say, Dale has literally just donated fifty pound to Rain, yeah. and we've now crossed one point two. 
thousand dollars. You know, the, the thing with that as well was I'd, I, and I'd said it the last night. I was like, you know, when I said, okay, at the end of this year, that's when I'm going to finish up because there's other things I want to do. I didn't expect anything. I thought, okay, I'm just going to like do my last matches and stuff. So to do, to have you know, Eve do that for me and do that weekend and put on, you know, allow me to have those matches and to get that kind of reception from other people. It was just, it was really overwhelming because I was like, I'm not that, I'm not famous. I haven't really like, you know, I've just kind of kicked about, haven't I? <laughs> and it was just, it was really overwhelming, especially when you played the video, you absolute sneaky fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, oh no, it was just, it was, the, I couldn't have asked for a better way to go out, which is why when people ask me, are you ever going to come back? I don't think so, because I think it would ruin it. I think it would spoil it. You've had the perfect fairy tale kind of finish. Why would I want to go back and potentially fuck that up, you know? Yeah, because we miss you. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll like, I'll like come to like watch. I mean, I've said I would happily be a manager or do something else, but don't ask me to run. Don't ask me to run. <laughs> <laughs> you were done. in, when I had one of those meetings with the, the, the television companies and I had to put together the um, uh, the cast of characters for them, this was literally just before, uh, you know, the world collapsed. Um, you was in that as one of the cast of characters, not as a wrestler, because I knew, I but like you were literally in there as one of the cast of characters, because I was like, maybe one day if I, you know, do some bits and pieces she'll just kind of get an inkling and we we can do a little bit of a story and I, I was just like i hope but at the same time i also was just like kind of want jayla around as well and she's got so much to add and be a good person to have backstage for everyone that hasn't got to worry about their own match as mm. well as you know helping other people uh, i thought that Sorry, I was going to say, that's that's why i've said like i would happily be a manager for a younger wrestler that maybe just i don't know oh. needs a piece Oh, you know, actually, mm. sorry, I, mean, I don't need a mouthpiece, but Jayla, I would love to have you. Please come see, manage you, If you need a manager, and occasionally I'll do a move, but again, don't ask me that. <laughs> uh, or don't you want to do anything to occasionally a move? Okay, well, like, yeah, but a move's easy. Again, <laughs> I, as long as I don't have to bump, that's fine. As long as you don't have to bump, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can go back and forearm me anytime you want. I miss you. I, absolutely, can you, I know. I miss everybody. I really. Can you really imagine do. if we was if you was to come back and you was to be the matchmaker and how that would? Because you imagine you remember how the match between you and Rhea came about at War Games. It yeah. was how Rhea was the matchmaker. She wasn't booking you. If you came back as the matchmaker, would you book Rhea? <gasps> like. <laughs> 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 Next time on Pro Wrestling East. Right. <laughs> Basically, uh, what I'm saying is I've not done cardio since 2019, and I don't intend to start now, so don't make me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Jayla, you've been with us for like three and a bit hours now. So, thank you so much. Thanks you got to you gotta go. You got to go to. Um, you got to go to bed now because you got to get up in a minute. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can go to work. Uh, and and uh, Jada, for all you know, uh, she is a, a paramedic. And um, like, is that the, the correct? Because you're very, you're very like clever. It's not. It's probably not just paramedic. It's probably like I know, like A plus star five like <laughs> level like I'm, paramedic. I'm, tech. I'm, um, I'm a second year student paramedic right. at the moment, so I'm out third manning doing A and E shifts. Um, you could Would see you have been the person that came to me when I had my heart attack? Is that like yeah. yes? Yeah. Okay, you didn't. You wouldn't have got me in the hospital. You'd have just like ah, shut up. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to your missus and she told me your symptoms, and I went, "Oof, get him to Annie." Like nope. She, the, the, you know, no, you would have gone. And yeah, I, I remember. I remember you talking to me afterwards and you're like, yeah, you're just having a wee little heart attack there. You know, you just get yourself, a, you know, let's just make sure you dial 999, get yourself to the hospital there. Let them take you in by ambulance and else. And I, yeah, there you go. She was so, do you know what though? It was really sweet because she was literally, you kind of got, from that phone call, I got a, an idea of what that, I say that bedside manner, do you know what I mean? Of how you deal with your, 
you know, people that you're coming out to at home and who you're rescuing and yeah. everything. Because you were so sweet and you were so calm. And yeah, so this is what that means. This is why this has happened to you. And we're just going to do this and we're just going to get you to the hospital. They're going to look <laughs> up. And you were so sweet. And there was a, for a moment there that I forgot that this is the person that threw Rhea into barbed wire. And <laughs> well, this is the thing. Here's another thing. If I'm ever kicking down at Eve, you've got an extra pair of paramedic hands kicking around for for ladies. And not so to I, mention, so I can do really stuff, and then you can fix me afterwards. Basically, yeah. You could, so you'll you'll be you'll be working with Nick Blesser. I actually miss Nick. Like yeah, Nick's he was, great. He was such a like a wonderful like he was a character which was Nick perfect. Was amazing. Even even when your paramedic is a character, you're doing well. <laughs> you know, I, like I remember at the uh, Brighton show, um, Session Moth coming out having a little grind, and oh, he she was grinded like, on the para, yeah. didn't she? <laughs> so that's what. So if you if you was coming down and para in an Eve show, like you know for well that Martina would be grinded on you as well. Like, because of course you would. Anyway, I'm so like, thank you so much for joining us, Jayla. Thank I, you. For having me. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah. Well, I miss you. We all miss you. Miss um, me. And Thanks. actually, good news for everyone: Jayla, uh, Ria, Addy, and myself are actually recording uh, a, a, a behind-the-scenes commentary this coming weekend, basically yeah. on their War Games match from Wrestle Queendom. So. Uh, oh, You'll get to see that soon. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, that so fun. go go, go to bed, Jayla. You've, bed. You've, you've put a hell of a shift in. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye.